I bet you've all been wondering which weapon is the best and which one's the worst. Nope, I haven't. Burned in hell, Bob! Um, oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the semi-trash collection of weapons in Elite Dangerous. A collection of things that just could not make it as a real boy in the Pinocchio's world of ordnance, murder and mayhem. In fact, all but one of them are made for a specific niche gameplay. And outside it, well, let's just say that the underwhelming feeling creeps up faster than a Catholic priest onto an all-boy choir. So then we start with the Guardian Gauss Cannon, the anti-Targoid Railgun version. This is THE best weapon for this gameplay, there is no doubt about that. But as soon as you step outside the Comfort Targoid buttfucking parlor, the facts of the reality hit harder than a slightly drunk soccer mom ramming a McDonald's. It's bad. Like, really bad. Oh, but there's one amazing thing. So it's called a Gauss Cannon, right? And not a Railgun. Okay, see, Railguns in its design is simpler and also less powerful than a Gauss weapon. And you know what, feel free to look up the topic itself, it's fascinating. Still, Gauss Cannons are also known as Coil Guns. They use, you know, coils and magnets. But does the in-game model look like it uses coils? No, it's breaking my immersion. Oh, and the reason why this weapon is so good, it shoots a hit scan load into a Targoid, penetrating it with brutal force and probably impregnating it with some guardian stale and crusted old relic-like stuff. Next up we have Guardian Shard Cannon, buffed normal shotgun made for Targoid combat. Not as useful as the Gauss Cannons, due to, well, being normal damage weapon, not a precision one. Still, it is possible and indeed has been demonstrated time and time again that you can insta-gib, or at least kinda insta-gib, a solo cyclops with these weapons. It makes it even funnier that the game tends to crash if you do so, and don't play the game in the intended way, that is, kill the hearts first, but instead just go straight up with the brutal prison rape on the alien species. Oh gods, am I telling people again how to rape an alien species? Species? The fuck is wrong with me? Anyways, as for the Guardian Plasma Charger, uh, it... well, at least it's more damage than AX missile and multi cannon. Yeah, I don't even know why these things aren't named advanced and moved out to experimental, but hey, I guess developers don't even play their own game to realize that they are a thing or remember them. Still, more effort has been put in them than the real advanced multi-cannon, by which I mean that they at least gave them different models, frankly nice looking models, but they are in every meaningful way outdated and obsolete. Yes, obsolete, because once the Guardian weapons came into existence, these not only got thrown out the window of an that building, but willingly jumped. <sighs> I still to this day don't get why the game still feature these weapons, and more so, why are they still in experimental? Oh, they don't need a personal narrative! Like the Guardian weapons? Um, okay. What else you got? Yep, that's what I thought. So then finally, in the semi-trash weapon tier, we got cannons. I used to think that they were really good, but just needed godlike aiming skill. Yet, it's not true. Even with the top tier wannabe pussy crusher skill, the projectile speed is in that awkward spot where it's not fast enough to be easy to aim, or slow enough to remind you that you shouldn't shoot it at distance. And the fire rate is in the same spot too. Basically, cannon is like a plasma accelerator, but without any of the good features. Sure, engineering makes it better, but it just misses that one good aspect or change to be okay. Oh, and if you mention the special engineering effects, yes, cannon has them. For the most part, either they are useless or gimmicks. I guess you can consider cannons to be that one weird middle child of the weapon world that ended up being neglected and fucked in the head a little. So there you have it. Basically get the Gauss cannon right away and throw rest of the weapons on the street or back alley or, I don't know, donate them to special needs alliance combat militia or something, or what they call it, alliance army. But for the sake of your own sanity, do not use them. Unless, again, you have lost your shit and decided to go on a pathetic meme spree. Now, of course, I invite you to tell Yamex how fucking wrong he is and has shit for brains, so feel free to do that down below, but hey, like it or not, sharing the video is a good thing. Next up, let's see, uh, oh, we are getting to the good stuff, the support weapons. Or if you like, and have some issues, take a look at the trash tier and learn what are the worst weapons than this list of things. 